Hello, BookTube. Um, this is the Confessions of a BookTuber tag. Um, I watched Steve Donahue do this tag a few days ago, and he listed a few uh, BookTubers that he watched and encouraged us to do the tag. Um, and I did enjoy watching his, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, the first question is what camera editing software do you use? Well, I have an iPhone 7. That's what I always use. I don't have any, uh, don't have a mic. Occasionally folks will tell me that the sound's a little off. Some of that may be me. I tend to have slurry speech and uh, slow speech, so uh, that can throw people. But my wife edits, um, any edits that may be required if a, I have three children if one of them runs in in the middle or an animal does something crazy like one of my cats. But for the most part, it's just straight straight shooting. How many hours a week do you spend filming editing videos? Well, I tend to on a, film a batch of them at once if it's a shelf tour. And you'll notice because I'll be wearing the same shirt the whole time or something like that. Um, and I do that to um, make sure I have plenty of videos going out and it works with my schedule. Um, my wife usually in the morning will do any edits and then just package them and put them out. That's what she does while she has her morning coffee and stuff. So there's not, there's not a ton of work that goes into them in that, that way. I'm not sure how many hours a week it would be. So, um, Probably depends on on what what you know what the week is and what we're what we're doing. Um, do you film videos in one take or does it take multiple tries? Almost always one take. Again, I do it as a conversation. Um, I don't really see it as performance art because if it was, I'd really be in trouble. Um, so I one take unless it's interrupted and then I'll just restart and then and then like I say, uh, we'll splice it together. Uh, you might see a little shift in the screen or something. Usually means something's happened. When is it easiest for you to film? That's the fourth question. Um, my schedule is a little different than my family's. I have three children. They're all in elementary school. So they're gone Monday through Friday for the most part. My wife has a Monday through Friday job. And I tend to have a couple days in the beginning of the week off. Um, and uh, I almost always have one of those days where I'm freed up to do a, a, a group of videos. So it's a Monday or a Tuesday usually I'm doing the videos. And I do it during the, during the school day so nobody's around. Something awkward you do while filming. Well, if I do anything awkward, I'm never going to admit it. One quote from a book you love. Well, I don't know how this works in with the rest of the questions, but for me, it's always the same. It's the opening from, well, mine's a beat up old paperback. Most of you recognize that, Dune. A beginning is the time for taking the most delicate care that the balances are correct. This every sister of the Bene Gesserit knows. To begin your study of the life of Moadib, then take care that you first place him in his time. Born in the 57th year of the Padishah Emperor Shaddam IV, and take the most special care that you locate Moadib in his place, the planet Arrakis. Do not be deceived by the fact that he was born on Caladan and lived there his first 15 years. Arrakis, the planet known as Dune, is forever his place. From the Manual of Moadib by the, uh, the Princess Erulan. Erulan, or however you want to say it. So, when I was young, I, re I first read Dune, would have been in the 1970s, and boom, it was an exciting find. I don't even remember how I found it, but uh, loved it and have ever since. Uh, number seven, what video are you the most proud of? It's one of my least watched, and I've mentioned it before. Um, we took a day trip over to St. Gaudens, 
uh, National Historic Site over in New Hampshire from here. And we did a vlog sort of thing, and uh, I really thought it came out great. How long do you spend getting ready for a video? Uh, not much time. Uh, I might decide, you know, this is the shelf I'm going to do a shelf tour on. And um, organize the books a little bit so they they go sequentially if it's a series. If it's like this, it's a tag, I'll probably find a list of the questions somewhere. If it's, uh, and if it requires me bringing down the book like the Dune, that might take a few minutes. Um, so, it varies on the type. Um, if it's a book chat, I may make a few notes. I, I don't do a lot. I figure it's a chat. I'm not doing a book review. Um, so it depends on the type of video, but not a lot of time. I try to avoid having big pauses or mental lapses and prepare enough so that I don't waste everybody's time. But uh, this is low production type conversations I'm having. What is the last booktube video that you watched? Well, I watched uh, Steve Donahue's video that he posted yesterday, but um, I watched it this morning, and it was um, his react. It was a book, a mail hall, um, and it was his reaction to uh, the horrible events in Las Vegas. And as usual, it was very well done. What is your favorite? booktube video of all time I, I don't think I really have a favorite of all time um, there have been some with uh, the booktubers who've gone who went to Helsinki uh, for the uh, World Science Fiction Convention I mean, there was a whole group of them, and I, I think I watched everybody's, because they linked back and forth to each other, and that was really enjoyable. Um, there was one where SFF 180 was in uh, Orlando, and a bunch of them were, booktubers were in that Harry Potter Hogwarts area. That was pretty funny. I enjoyed that. And then, um, I, I, I think I enjoy the... Uh, the bookshelf tours that uh, Steve Donahue has done. He's in Darkest Mordor. It's a scary shelf, but it's been re really great to watch. Because I like seeing the treasures that they pull off the shelf, something they've kept, the, the booktuber has kept. Um, what is one book you hated that everyone else liked? This is... I have no idea how I'd answer that question. I, I don't even think I... If I didn't like it and I hated it and everybody else liked it, oh well. I mean, it's, it's, it's more likely to be the other way around because folks will look at some of the stuff I read and think, oh my gosh, it's so dry. Hell, I like it. So If somebody else likes it and I and it likes it and I, I didn't like it, that's no big deal. Um, who are your booktube friends? Well, I do have some. Um, and um, I, I'm not going to go list in a bunch of folks, but um, that's one thing I've really enjoyed about BookTube is I, I email with a couple of folks uh, or we back and forth on videos. And there are also BookTube folks who don't produce videos um, that are regular commentators. And I... Even though I can be technically challenged and not realize the comments come out, I just found out about that, by the way. I always thought it would be in my my uh, notifications, but every once in a while I'll go back and look at a video and realize that I never got notification that there was a comment. But when I do, I try to comment back because that's really fun. Um, and then BookTube has some great commenters, people who are engaged, are engaged with the books you're discussing or doing a tour of or doing a tag about. And those, those are the most fun to me. So um, plenty of friends. Um, it may be in the comment section. It may be via email. Maybe both. Maybe just watching them on video and really not uh, having a whole lot of interaction with them. But you, you see them enough so you start to feel like they're your friends. And that's it's a community. That's the way it's supposed to be. 
And what booktuber, YouTuber, would you die if they subscribed to you? Well, hopefully I wouldn't die. But um, it's an odd I think it shows a certain age group for that kind of question. Um, but it, it, it's a question. It's part of the tag, so I'll try to answer it best I can. I think it would be a YouTuber, um, Adam Savage of Tested. Uh, you may remember. I love those uh, YouTube videos Tested does. And um, Adam Savage is also doing a Sci-Fi Origins podcast where he's talking to uh every week to people who are movers and shakers in the science fiction film book and art world so I, i'm a big fan of his uh, a lot of you remember him from mythbusters so i guess that i would have to answer the question that way though i wish it had been framed a little differently so um that is the conventions confessions of a booktuber tag um if anybody's watching this who who feels like they'd like to do it i'd love to love to see what you what you say and uh what, what you can come up with so um consider yourself tag thank you booktube